It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. And we're back. Welcome back to the full game playthrough and commentary. I hope you had a good week. I had a great week. Subs are up. Views are up. People are commenting and liking and discovering my channel. And that is thanks to you, my friends. That's thanks to all your views and all your support, and I am so appreciative. Let's get started. For Lord's sake, put that book away and go help. Eastward Bound is an easy mission, but you have to appreciate these quiet moments between the storms. Arthur has just rode all night. Dutch is in a good mood. Hosea is worried. Business as usual. We just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country. Look little. at Charles helping Abigail with John. Camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Dutch is teasing, but these are the seeds of his paranoia. Now we get one of the best songs in the game. You can relax a bit and get some coffee. The music is so peaceful and perfectly highlights the transition between landscapes. I would describe this cutscene as almost magical and a perfect moment in the game. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. I'm surprised they didn't stop at Wallace Station for a bathroom break and to pick up snacks. Finally, we can take control of the wagon for a minute. Get us out the stream! <laughs> Gotta keep us moving, but calm! <laughs> ah, shit! Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel! All right! Arthur's grumpy, but he still takes time to tease Hosea, and Charles wants to help. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? And here's a cameo for Rain Falls, Eagle Flies, and Peta, who will become so important in a later chapter. I like the symmetry of putting them in chapter one, even for a minute. I think Dutch aspires to be a leader like Rains Falls, and he sees himself as a wise elder, but he's more like Eagle Flies. He's angry and ambitious, and railing against injustice and how the world is changing. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Now we get some backstory from Charles and Hosea. Remember, this is a mission, and this event is timed. Don't linger. 
There is no extra dialogue if you go slow, so follow the trail and get to your new camp. But also take a moment to admire the new landscape and look at all the game you can hunt. I have a new appreciation for hunting thanks to this game. First playthrough I was completely blown away and so impressed I couldn't wait to free roam. I still can't wait. To this day I love exploring this world. Reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. The spider duchess talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. And we learn a little about Charles and Arthur and Arthur's feud with John. I feel like Arthur's history with John is used here to sort of explain how Arthur isn't mentioned even once in Red Dead Redemption 1. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, Working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. More speculation on Blackwater and Dutch's leadership, and another reference to Dutch acting out of character. Dutch is changing, and Hosea is worried because he can't understand why. Uh, it's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Actually, you can buy potent health and miracle tonic at the doctor's office, but thanks for the supplies. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, there's no more dialogue, so book it. This event is timed. There you are, brother. Head in there. You follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Remember to stop for Javier. Okay, let's go. First playthrough, I got hopelessly stuck in these trees. I couldn't figure out how to back up. 
I'm pretty sure I failed the mission or had to restart. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. And we made it to the next camp. Always an exciting moment. Wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Dutch has a speech prepared for us. Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. That's the last time you'll see Charles chopping wood. That's your job. Here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know. And Herr Strauss is formally introduced. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools... And note how Charles throws that axe on the damp grass. He wouldn't do that. He knows better. He should have stuck that axe in the stump. It's an oversight, and it bugs me every time. And now, it'll bug you. Close down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> this is one of my favorite speeches of Dutch's. I like how everybody laughs here. It is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town... Little way down the track, name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. Again, that's your job. Every day. You. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be Miss Grimshaw, along with Mr. Pearson, is in charge of camp logistics and setup. Fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. I like that attitude. It's so easy to make money if you're a criminal, if you're willing to break the law. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you do. And now Miss Grimshaw is yelling at Tilly. Okay, we made it to chapter two, but we still have a couple things to do before I let you go. Off the mountain, and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that hole. Arthur writes in his journal, and you have that iconic moment with his hat. 
And I also like this moment because you're thinking, finally, we have control and we can go explore, but the game is like, nope, now we have to talk to Hosea. <sighs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. You may think this is small talk, but Hosea's handing out assignments right now. By the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> Hi, Dutch. Eagle Talon Talisman, that's an ultimate edition bonus. Just pretend we don't have that. Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first Same with the iguana scale trinket. Nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dud. And there is your gold. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Now, before we say goodbye, we need to trigger the Dutch pipe request and the Pearson rabbit request. It's so much easier to get them now, and it's a pain, if not impossible, to trigger them if you exit the game at this point. It's not difficult, so let's get them out of the way. Do it. Good morning, Arthur. Maybe after lunch, hey? We'll take care of Dutch first. We need to move him to the front of his tent. So go do a couple chores, and he should be there. I always like to cook up some supplies at this moment. We'll need them for the free roaming we'll have to do to set us up for the rest of the chapter. Okay, Dutch is in position. Let's go talk to him. Arthur, how's the cigar? Not bad, but sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in there in Blackwater, I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> Don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> Pipe request. Done. Moving on to Pearson. This is trickier. He needs to be behind the table by the stew pot, drinking a beer. Let's chop some wood. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. I've always been crazy. And then I found it helps to leave camp and return. Don't go far. I always go up to the train tracks and then turn around and come back. Hell of a morning. That's quite a gun you got there. Hey there. Something about watching you clean. Yep. And I have noticed, if you can get this conversation with Mary Beth, which is random, Pearson will be in the right spot. The two events appear to be linked. I never knew I could be so cold. <laughs> I know, Mary Beth. Kind of like it here. But where on earth are we? New Hanover. New Hanover. Ah, oh, Lord. <laughs> My mother came from somewhere here. You know where? 
No, I hardly know much about her. She died when I was young. Mm. Mine too. Mine too. You all right there, Mr. Morgan? Sure. You look a little peaky. Peaky? Peaky? Tell you what, you find me a rabbit and I'll make you my special soup. Put the hair on your chest, get you feeling perfect. I uh, just need a rabbit? It's my special rabbit soup. It's a work of art. I learned the recipe in the Indies. Riddled with scurvy I was then, one bowl. Yeah, I was fine. Thank you. Okay, rabbit request. Done. Probably the most difficult camp request to trigger in the entire game. Make a save at this point. It's probably a good idea to get in the habit of making a save at camp for every session. That way if something goes wrong, if you lose a horse or whatever, you can go back to that save and you won't have lost more than a day's progress. And there's chapter 1, done and dusted. We made it to chapter 2. Chapter 1 is basically just a long tutorial. Now the fun really begins. I'm really glad you're here with me. You and me and Arthur have a lot of ground ahead of us. I'll see you soon. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Okay. Further on down the trail. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow?